so okay that's what i do i just ride around my motorcycle and i talk about uh, meaningless bs Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. I'm Cruise Man, and this is the channel for everything Honda Goldwing. If you are passionate about motorcycling, and more specifically, the Honda Goldwing, you're in the right place. Now today, it is Friday, and it's afternoon. It's I usually... Uh, do my motor vlogs in the morning but today I'm doing them in the afternoon and a couple of things to talk to you about one thing a bit of exciting news to share with you that uh, I forgot to share with you in my last motor vlog but we have now exceeded 19,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel that is very exciting my goal was to get to 20,000 by the end of this year, and it's, I think it's still a possibility, with a little help from you guys. So I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel. I also want to talk to you about uh, a couple of other things. As some of you have uh, watched my latest video on winterizing your Goldwing and I put up some tips on how to store your Goldwing for the winter, and it really applies to any motorcycle, not just the Goldwing. But I got a lot of comments and a lot of good ideas from some of you. So for those of you that uh, do store your bikes long term, uh, you might want to read through the comments on that video because some of you who do this on a regular basis uh, had a couple of really good uh, additional ideas. A lot of you up in Minnesota and some other parts of the country. I had to kind of laugh. I got a comment from somebody the other day on one of my videos. And believe it or not, I do read all the comments. And uh, this guy was kind of complaining. He said, you know, all this guy does, meaning me, he said all this guy does is ride around his motorcycle and ramble on about meaningless BS. Well, I, I kind of thought that's what a motor vlog was. I, maybe, I, maybe I'm missing something. What are these other guys on their motor vlogs? What are they talking about that's so inspiring and wonderful that I'm missing? <laughs> anyway, so okay, that's what I do. I just ride around my motorcycle and I talk about uh, meaningless BS. But uh, hopefully some of you enjoy some of my uh, rantings and ravings and thoughts and ideas. Apparently you do. 19,000 of you took the time to subscribe. I guess that's a good sign. I'm out running a couple of errands today on the bike. It's actually uh, pretty cool today, but very nice. It's only about probably 52 degrees out, so it's really not bad. It's not windy at all. It's just really a good day to get out and ride. And I've uh, got to run up here to the dry cleaners and drop some stuff off, and then I'm gonna make another run the other direction, do some things and just give me a chance to talk to you and also let you know that I'm trying out for the very first time my brand new uh, GoPro Hero 8 Black right here mounted to the handlebar looking back at me and I'm uh, shooting that video in 1080p at 30 frames per second with the HyperSmooth 2.0 turned on I'm going to give that a try and anxious to hear what you have to say. I was very happy with the Hero 7 Black because it did an excellent job. But when the Hero 8 came out, I decided to uh, upgrade to that. I still have my Hero 7 Black and this uh, Hero, uh, Hero 4 Silver, which I'm only using this because it's easier to do audio on this because uh, it's easier to plug a microphone into. But they have solved that issue with the Hero 8. So, my plan is to sell my Hero 7 Black, and I've only had it three months, 
and it's been excellent camera does a great job so if any of you in the market want a really good deal on a GoPro Hero 7 Black, I'll sell it for $229, which is $100 bucks cheaper than a new one. They're $329 new. And I'll sell it for $229, and I'll take PayPal, and I'll ship it off to you, and I'll send you the frame. And I'll even include a 64 gigabyte little mini SD card. So you won't have any trouble recording your 4K video if you choose to do that. I think those cards are maybe about $22, the one that I have, but I'll throw that in as well. And anything else that came with it, cables. I don't have the packaging that the Hero 7 came in because uh, I kind of tore it apart. But I do have, uh, I'll throw in a couple other mounts and accessories and things like that. But anyway, anybody interested, let me know. So the other thing I want to talk to you about I've also been testing out a new set of helmet speakers from a company called, I, I think it's pronounced IASIS, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I'll put the name on the screen. And I'm testing out these X-Sound 3 uh, speakers in the helmet of my Cymax 3. Now I have the Cardo system installed on my IS Max 2 but I still have the Cena 20S on the Cymax 3 and I recently upgraded the speakers on this Cardo with their larger JBL speakers some of you may have saw the mo uh, may have seen the motor vlog where I talk about those and it was a, an improvement in the sound definitely but you know the sound on the Cardo I've always felt like the sound right out of the box was better on the Cardo than it was on the Cena. And I had the Cena 20S. So when I got these speakers in, I decided to hook them up. Now they will hook up to the Cardo or the Cena. They come with a three and a half millimeter little jack that you just basically plug them in. And on my Cena 20S, they plug right into the uh, base. There's a little jack there that you can plug them into, or a port, I should say. And what a difference. The difference in sound between the stock 20S speakers and these IASIS uh, X Sound 3s is much more dramatic than the difference was between the larger JBL and the stock Cardo speakers. Now, granted, the Cardo speakers are better than the Cena speakers right out of the box so that may be part of the reason but to upgrade from the Cena headset uh, head helmet speakers to the uh, IASIS was a pretty dramatic difference much much better quality much cleaner sound so I encourage those of you that have the Cena and I, I think they'll fit with the 20S the 20S Evo and the 30K and they may fit other models as well. If you if you can accept speakers with a three and a half inch uh, microphone jack, I think they'll work for you. I'm going to drop off my laundry. I'll be right back. We'll catch up where I left off. Okay, I'm back. I uh, got my dry cleaning dropped off and ready to run my next errand. So. As I was saying, uh, if you have the Cena 20S or 20S Evo or 30K or maybe the other models as well, you might want to check out these IASA speakers. I'll put a link in the description of this video down below. I actually think they're pretty nice. It comes in a you know, pretty nice kit with a lot of Velcro uh, attachment uh, and little foam risers because you want the speakers uh, to kind of be touching your ears when you put your helmet on so they give you the spacers so that you can do that so that you get better sound quality and less wind noise and everything else uh, it also comes with a, a couple other little accessories that are kind of neat so uh, you can get them through amazon.com I'll put a link in the description below uh, check them out if you're interested and the last thing I'm going to talk about today is uh, Ricky and I are going to be heading out on the 17th of this month uh, to do another one of our cruise reviews or a cruise project for a cruise line. 
Uh, some of you may not know why I got the name Cruise Man. It's because uh, we run a, a website for the cruise industry where we review cruise ships. So the reason I'm mentioning that is because we've just recently launched a new website, cruisereport.com, and we are relaunching our YouTube channel. So we kind of let the uh, YouTube channel languish over the last couple of years, but we're putting more emphasis and more energy into that now just because we've been doing pretty well with Cruise Man's Garage web uh, YouTube channel. So I'm going to ask you guys a favor, and that is if you're interested in cruising at all, go check out our YouTube channel. I'll put the address on the screen and in the link in the description below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to build up our subscriptions on that channel. So I would appreciate any of you that, if you're interested, in, if you're not interested in cruising, then I don't expect you to go subscribe to our channel. But if you're interested in cruising, uh, go uh, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. There's some videos out there already, but we're going to be adding a lot more. We're going to be doing some cruise vlogs from the cruise ships. Uh, coming up, we're doing Norwegian Encore, a brand new ship coming out uh, on the 17th of the month. Uh, I will be doing uh, Holland America's new ship on the 24th of this month. And then uh, we've already got something set up for 2020. we got a couple of cruises lined up. So uh, we typically do quite a few cruises a year because the cruise lines want the uh, exposure. We're not travel agents. We don't sell cruises. So there's nothing for you to buy on our website or on our uh, YouTube channel. It's simply information. So uh, if you uh, are interested in cruising and you're just looking for information or questions, you know, we've been on over 130 cruises, um, 39 different cruise lines, and 101 different ships. I just learned that today. I went back and looked at our records. We've been, can you believe that? Over 101 ships. So 39 different cruise lines and you know some of those cruise lines are out of business now but a lot of them are still around so anyway I appreciate you checking that out I appreciate you supporting this channel thanks to all of our 19,000 subscribers and I will see you next time on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.